Hello, everybody. Welcome to my live. It's going to be a fun one tonight. Thanks for joining me. My name is Laura Roderick. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. Thanks for joining me either now here on Facebook or on my Facebook business page or on my YouTube channel. I appreciate everyone who tunes in. Tonight's class is fun because this was um, a class that you could order ahead of time. So a lot of people ordered the class. They already got their class kits. Unfortunately, I have one person who did not get their class kit yet. It's coming tomorrow. Somehow it got held up in Kansas City. So I feel really bad about that. Um, it was mailed priority the Monday before. So it's taking like nine days priority to get there. So I'm very disappointed in that. I don't know what happened in Kansas City that uh, it kept saying moving through distribution, moving through distribution. Uh, but anyway, and then it was in St. Louis today. So very disappointing. Anyway, um, if you have the kit, uh, I think we're going to have fun tonight. Um, it's a good kit. I love this bundle. This perennial lavender is super fun. Um, and I think it's been really popular with Stampin' Up! So we're going to do that tonight. Uh, let me make sure I'm coming up real quick. Okay, good. Now I can see your comments on the iPad. All right, so... Um, all right, let's do our contest. So I kind of changed up the contest last week. We were doing sharing contests before, and I always appreciate when you guys share. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, hi, Renee. So the, the current contest that I'm doing right now is all you have to do is write a comment. So just write in a comment. Just say, hi, hello, I'm having good weather. This is where I'm from, whatever. Just say hi. That's it. Um, and then you'll be entered into the contest to win a prize. Um, you can do a comment on either of the Facebook pages. Or, um, oh, hi, hi, Jolene. Oh, okay, good, great. I'm glad she won her um, share and she got her share price, she said. All right, so we're gonna have fun creating those perennial lavender cards tonight. Um, so just make a comment either on Facebook or YouTube um, and you'll be entered to win a prize. Okay, so this week's prize I was giving away of Wink of Stella. This is still um, currently not available, but it will be soon. And the winner this week was Janice Kellerson. So Janice, congratulations to you. I'll be putting this in the mail for you. Um, and thank you everybody for commenting and for sharing. I really appreciate it. Um, this week what I'm going to give away, thank you Renee, I so appreciate that. Um, is these neutrals ad adhesive back sequins. And let me hold these a little bit closer. These sequins are awesome. I'm really into the sequins this year, and I think so is Stampin' Up. There's, they come in several different colors. There was even a paper pumpkin kit at Christmas that had the red sequins that I was just totally in love with. I wanted to use them on everything. Um, so these are really nice colors. Um, I don't have the colors written down, but um, there's a silver and a gold and kind of um, like a brown and a copper, so very very pretty um so that'll be the, the um prize for this week okay all right you guys are we ready to craft i have a lavender shirt on tonight i had to get in the spirit of the live okay i'm gonna turn my camera down i want to show you something before we get started on the cards all right let me flip my light's getting in the way Okay, let me tighten that up. I think that looks good. All right, everything is looking good. Okay, so what I want to talk to you about first, quickly, is the online exclusives. So these are going to be available on March 5th to customers. If you're a demonstrator, you can already order them. If you buy the starter kit, you can order these early, too, and make it part of your starter kit. But these, I think this new set is really fun. We've got this coffee bundle. I'm still on the fence on this one because I don't drink coffee, but it's awfully cute. So I don't know if I'm going to get this one, but this ribbon, I don't know if you can see this ribbon. Let me move it up. It's, um, and I was going to say it's across the room. I can't really reach it from here because I did get some. It's really pretty with the little white dots. I love this ribbon. And then we have this one here, which is the Zinnia. And I'll show you up close what we have with that. And then this little wagon one. So um, let me just show you these pictures up close. Here's the coffee one. You can see all the little um, things that you can use for that. Kind of fun. Look at the matching um, dots, the gems. This one is the one that I am nuts for, this um, Zinnia one. I just love the things to this, and I'll show them to you because I have them with me right here. 
and let me just go to the last page and just show you some of the things. Here's the Zinnia one here. This There's another one in Circle the Nature. I don't have, excuse me, everything on this sheet. <coughs> excuse me, I wish they had some better graphics. Um, I mean, I guess they have good graphics, but more. I want more. All right, so here is the Zinnia Cling stamp set, which I think is super fun. It comes with Zinnia dies. Um, this is if you get the whole thing, right? This embossing folder is really awesome. I don't know if you can see. Uh, I think you can see pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. That's a really nice embossing folder. These sequins, speaking of sequins, right? Look at the colors on these. So, so, so pretty. And then this paper is crazy. Let me show you this. Let me open up this paper and show you this paper up close. Hold on. It's why I love these colors. They're so bright and happy and cheery. And um, I just love them. So you have this piece. You've got these little tiny zinnias. I love this right here. Uh, you've got nice leaves. And then you've got these, which are great for cutting out. And then if you notice on the back, look at these nice patterns. So you have patterns in different colors. These are going to be great. They coordinate with the pack, but you can use, also use them on other projects. And I love a nice small pattern. It just, it just makes for really nice um, projects. So let me show you. I've created a class, and I can't sell it yet because it's too early because these don't come out to March 5th. But here's the class that I'm going to offer with the Zinnia. So there's going to be um, some cards. We're going to do this where you get the little um, packet of Zinnia seeds. So a little packet treat holder that you can send to somebody you keep for yourself, plant some Zinnias. Here's another um, card with this new set. So these are going to be the cards in the class. This one I stamped and colored the Zinnias. So I think that's pretty. And then this one is, um, I use the die cuts to do, um, cut out the zinnias. I use the embossing folder. And this is, we're making a cover for a little white notebook. So I think that's fun. And then I also, for the card class, got some zinnia pens, which I think these are really fun. So you'll also get a really fun pen in your kit. So that's coming up. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I think in two weeks, is when um, we'll, I'll start selling uh, that card kit. All right, now the card kit we're doing tonight. Working out of the mini catalog with perennial lavender. Very beautiful. Some nice samples that they have here in the Stampin' Up! catalog. Here's, um, in a nutshell, the bundle. So we've got um, the stamps. We've got dies. I did not use the butterflies. I could have. I had some, but I didn't. We've got the gems, the paper. And then also that coordinates with it is the um, perennial postage bundle. So that's what we're working with. These are our projects for tonight. We're gonna do three cards. So we have one card here. This is our second card. This third card here. We're doing a, um, a sachet holder for a nice fragrant uh, lavender sachet to go in. This would make a nice gift for somebody. We're doing this little tea and cookie um, holder. So we've got a little bit of lavender tea in here and um, these uh, delicious Biscoff cookies that fit in here really nicely. So we're gonna make one of those. And then if you got the kit, I also threw in this um, nice little honey um, lavender spoon for tea, uh, just as a, as a thank you. So that's where we're going with our things tonight. Okay, let me straighten this out making a mess before I even get started. All right, let me find a good place to put everything so it won't get ruined. All right, let's get going on our first card. Now, the other thing that I wanna mention is if you got the kit, um, I also sent you in your kit, in, in, in addition to the measurements and everything, I also sent you this sheet right here. And because you got the Perennial Lavender DSP, you got half a pack, you would cut your own pieces of the DSP, right? So I sent this handy little guide that tells you what size and so you can see the actual pattern for which pieces you needed to cut ahead of time for the class. Now, if you remember, the Perennial um, Lavender dies we're on back order, so I did all the die cutting for um, that um, die set, for the perennial lavender dies. So that's kind of a bonus. 
um, that we got going. And again, they're um, they're on not orderable again until I think March 4th, something like that. <clears throat> um, but I still have one kit left if anybody wants to still get the kit. And I have the capability to cut two more. Um, they're not cut, but I have one kit cut and ready to go. So keep that in mind as you're watching tonight or tomorrow. Here is what we're going to use for the first card, the perennial postage. Now you can use, of course, any sentiments that you want. You don't have to have this set. I like the font. I think this just uh, coordinates really nicely. So I did use the perennial postage um, stamp set for our um, sentiments tonight. I die cut um, these for you as well. So these are already die cut, but it's really nice to have this. This is a great set of coordinating dies. Look, kind of look like stamps. All right, and here are the pieces for your first card. This is one that you would cut yourself. And we've got some of those little dragonflies. Okay, so this one is gonna be fairly easy. It's mostly just layering. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping. So we started with a card base, and this is, <clears throat> excuse me, Lost Lagoon, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. The inside, you could do either white or you could do um, very vanilla. I chose to use very vanilla. I just thought it coordinated a little bit better with this kind of um, crumb cakey uh, background. So I have that to do the inside with. These are just going to be our layers. So this other layer of Lost Lagoon is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. Then we used the large perennial postage die to cut out some Highland Heather. So that's going to be our next layer. And then for the inside, we used that piece of um, perennial lavender DSP, and that's four and five eighths by three and three eighths. Now, if you want the measurements, if you're on my email list, those will go out tomorrow um, in the email, so you'll have all the measurements. Or if you don't want to be in my email list, you can just email me, and I'll be happy to send them to you. Okay. Then we have this other piece out of crumb cake, and this is a perennial lavender dye as well. We're going to stamp on that. So those are our two things we're going to stamp on. I'm going to get out some gorgeous grape. And for this, we're just going to put sending love in best wishes, which is the stamp right here. All right, I'm going to move it a little bit so I can get it kind of in the middle. And these, I feel like these are tricky to stamp and I can tell my, my stamp is crooked on here because um, these are straight and these are a little bit off. So what I'm trying to do is line up the straight part um, with the straight edges. So we'll see how that comes out. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right, and so for the inside, we're going to stamp You Mean the World to Me and then we're also going to stamp a couple of the leaves. So here's You Mean the World to Me. Use any sentiments you want. Maybe you want to make this a birthday card. All right, again, trying to line up the straight words. I'm going to go down just a little bit like that. All right, and then I'm going to get some Lost Lagoon out, and we're just going to add a couple leaves. And... I don't think I put those on a block, so let me grab it. Hold on for a second, find it. Okay, this is from Painted Lavender, and it's this one right here. And we're just going to stamp one of those in Lost Lagoon at the bottom. All right, let me find kind of a longer one. All right. And we're just gonna put that right across, kind of right like this. This glass mat, I feel like everything stamps so nicely on it. And then you can just wipe off the glass for anything you stamp over. Okay, so the inside's done. We're gonna go ahead and just put this together. Be nice and easy. Let's start with the inside. Okay, now we're gonna to move to the outside. And um, what we're gonna do, and kind of the reason why I just didn't put this straight on here is because I wanted to tie the ribbon. All right, so I could have just done this, you could do this, but I put it on here first and then I tied a ribbon around here and then put it on. 
So let's just um, glue this all down. Do you love this paper? I am in love with this paper. I think it's so pretty. And I'm not a huge um, like purple fan. I mean, I like it, but I'm not, uh, I will always choose pink over purple. Let's put it that way. Um, Cause pink's my favorite color. But I think it's gorgeous. And I love the way this Lost Lagoon ribbon coordinates with it. So if you got the kit, you got a whole roll of this ribbon. I have gone through so many rolls of this ribbon already. Clip that off and we'll just tie a bow. This class may take a couple minutes longer tonight because we have five projects that we're gonna do. But I don't think any of them are too hard and everything's pretty much pre-cut, so. All right, so we have a nice bow. Let's just clip off the other side right here. Okay, we can go ahead and put that down. Whoa. It's kind of funny when I design cards, um, you know, I'll design all my projects, but when it comes to doing the live, I feel like I, I always have to do them in the order I designed them. Isn't that silly? Kind of crazy, but um, that's kind of what I do. I don't know. Is that OCD? I'm not sure. Okay, let me find some dimensionals. I think I have to open a new one. Let's see, here's some. All right, so we're gonna pop this up. I'm gonna try and get a couple right above the ribbon and we'll do a couple below. All right, did anybody get hit with uh, snow this week? Anybody live on the East Coast? It's been another crazy weather week. Ours has been not bad. I can't complain about the weather. It's been pretty nice. Okay, there we go. Now, what happened to our little, hold on, where'd they go? All right, we're gonna have to get out some more. Uh, what we're using are these um, adhesive backed dragonflies and birds. So let me just get out. They'll turn up eventually. And where's my picture pick? Oh, okay. I am just reading real quick. All right. Okie dokie. All right. So we're just going to put, um, I actually put three of these cute little ones on here. These were recently not available, but they're available again. So that's fun. Okay, you guys, that is it. That is our first card. Let's go on to the next one. So we're gonna do this one right here. This one is You Mean the World to Me and uh, You Are Love Beyond Measure on the inside. So let me get out. The other thing we're gonna use with this one are the stylus shape dies for this circle right here. And here's our pieces for this one. second I need a drink of water. Okay. All right, standard card base again, eight and a half, five and a half, score to four and a quarter. This time we're gonna have it this way. I have another piece of the um, Very Vanilla cardstock, five and a quarter by four. We'll leave that out because we're gonna stamp on it. Look at it, here, here we go, they showed up. They were probably right in front of me the whole time. I just couldn't see them. Okay, so we're gonna stamp on this. These are our other layers. This is that beautiful DSP. And this also is five and a quarter by four. And then I have this piece of um, gorgeous scrape. And this is one and a half inches by five and a half. And then we've got another layer of the very vanilla that we're gonna put inside that layer. And that one is three quarter inch by five and a half. We have this piece that we cut out of the circle. We're gonna stamp on that too. So let's do our stamping. Let me put this the right way before I accidentally stamp it the wrong way. 
Okay, so we're going to be using the Lost Lagoon. Let's start with that. Mm, actually, let me start with the Highland Heather because I want to put my words on first so I know how much room I have for my grass underneath. So we're going to do that first. So you mean the world to me. Okay. I'm going to try and put that towards the top. All right, and on the inside, then the other sentiment is you are loved beyond measure. I'm gonna put that one kind of at the top. Let me line it up. All right, it looks a little crooked. Yep, it sure does. All right, let's try again. I'm gonna bring it down a little and see if I can line up the straight words. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, we'll put this aside for a minute. We're gonna use that again. And I need to get out some more stamps. So we're gonna get out two stamps. We're going to get out this one that's kind of grassy. And then where's these little tiny like flower buds? We're gonna use that one too. All right, let me get these mounted. There's that. I, uh, I tried to go through last night and pick out all the ones that I was going to use because it's been a very long time since I made these cards. And um, I, wanted, I knew I was going to miss something. So we're just going to start by stamping these grasses across the bottom. So here. And we'll do one more right across here like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom going all the way across. And I really wanted to go all the way down. I'm, I've got a little crossover, but that's okay. Once we put the little flowers on, I don't think it's going to be that noticeable. Um, if it bothers you the way I did it, we can trim a little bit off the bottom because it's not going to matter that much when we center it in the card. So I'm going to trim it for a second. But first, let me get out a little wipe to wipe off my ink. So I'm going to be super picky and just take just a tiny bit off the bottom, kind of even it up a little bit. Okay. Now, let's come in with the Highland Heather and add some little uh, of the purple flowers to it. And we'll just randomly kind of put them all over. Just like that. Oh, I did them sideways. That was silly. All right, let's do one this way. That was silly. I was not paying attention. Do you see how they're stacked up like this? Maybe I should have practiced this before I went on since I did these cards like, I don't know, eight weeks ago. I have a nice smudge right there. That looks like a good place for a butterfly or something. That's much better. If you do it the right way. Now I can put a dragonfly over that. I'm gonna try and get it off with my sand eraser first, but the um, butter, the dragonflies and birds are flat, so it's not gonna mess with opening up the inside of our card. Okay, that's it for that. All right, let me check my hands. We'll see if we can get some of this off. It's pretty dark. This is a good one. This is like a super smudge, not your normal smudge, right? We'll see. Maybe it'll make a hole in the card then. We've got a problem. Nope, this looks pretty good. Just a little bit left on there. Okay, but overall I think that looks pretty good. Okay. All right. 
This one's super easy to assemble. Okay, so let's do the inside first, then we'll be finished with that. Here's our other side. Okay, there's our inside like that. Okay, now we can go ahead and put this on. We're gonna put it all together and then put the ribbon. So the ribbon's gonna go around the inside. If that bothers you, you could um, you know, do it the other way and then put it on, but it doesn't bother me to have it around the inside like that. So that's what we're gonna do. So this gets centered. The next pieces are gonna go edge to edge. So we'll put our gorgeous grape piece down the middle. Now, if you wanted to, you could fancy this up and run it through, you know, use that scallop and have like the scallop die go across if you weren't a fan of it being so plain. I don't think it's too plain of a card. I like, I like cards that aren't super plain. I like to fancy them up a little bit. Okay, now you can see how this is hanging over just a little bit. Let's fix that before we put the ribbon on. Okay, good. Some more of that beautiful ribbon. Does anybody have any big plans for Valentine's Day tomorrow? I think we're gonna go out to dinner after work. Hopefully it'll be early enough that there won't, that it won't be. I don't know, it's been years. I don't, I can't remember the last time I went out for Valentine's Day dinner. Usually we make something at home, but we're gonna be adventurous tomorrow and go out for dinner. And then after that, I got some little gifts for the grandkids. So we'll have to do a little um, FaceTime so they can open what they got for Valentine's Day. All right, just trimming up our ribbon. And then we're gonna pop this up. go right here we'll break out some of those really pretty jewels and I can't get enough of these either they're so pretty Let's open this up all right you can see all the different colors that they come in so we'll just use some we'll use a dark one and then a smaller light one and then a smaller dark one. And then another one down here. We use an even number. Is that a, is that a card making no-no? I think I like it like that though. All right, card number two finished. Pretty, right? Be better if I would have done the stamping right. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, you guys, this next one we're gonna do is this Happy Mother's Day, which I thought fit perfectly in the circle, but again, you could make this a thank you, you could make this a happy birthday. I know Mother's Day is a little bit far off, but I think it's a pretty card for Mother's Day. And you know, you mean the world to me. That's, that's a great sentiment for Mother's Day. All right, so what are we gonna use for this? Um, the Painted Lavender. Um, I don't, are we using it for this one? Hold on, we've already used it and I didn't get to show it yet. I, I kind of went out of order because I had to pull this out. So, um, but you guys can see all the different stamps we have in this. I'll put that aside. I think I put it out of order. Okay, so we are using this, one of my favorite, favorite dies to make the scalloped edge on the card. So we've got that. We're using the Stylish Shapes dies again for the squares. All right, I think it's the two largest ones. 
And then we're gonna use some of the dyes from the perennial lavender kit. So I like this one. We'll cut out a couple of these in the um, Lost Lagoon. And then a couple of the flowers, uh, which is this right here. So this is nice because it cuts a longer one and a shorter one, so two at one time. And so I cut one out of um, Highland Heather and one out of Gorgeous Grape. So that's what we've got for this card. Here are the pieces. Everything, like I said, I die cut this time. So here's our die cuts. We've got our little circle also from Stylus Shapes. All right, let's quickly go through the measurements so you can kind of see. So the card base we started with five and a quarter, uh, uh, eight and a half by five and a half squared at four and a quarter. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then we took this die and I left, I don't know, maybe an inch or so. And I just unfolded it, put it like this and ran it through the die cutting machine, okay? And it die cuts this, you just throw away this part right here and now you have a really pretty card base to start with. So we've got that. I feel like I lose this die like once a week. I lost it again yesterday. I'm like, where is it? I don't know why, I must just use it too much. This is for the inside, five and a quarter by four. This is gonna get stamped and then layered with these layers also on the inside. This is Highland Heather. And let me see what the measurement is for this. This is uh, four inches by two inches. And then we have the perennial lavender. This is three and three quarters by one and three quarters. So that fits right in here like that. All right, let's keep this out since we're gonna stamp on it. We're gonna stamp on this. Here's our other pieces. Here's, oh, I have an extra flower in here. Oh no, I don't. That's the light colored one. All right. Okay, last pieces are all of our squares. So I have um, this one right here, which is Highland Heather. And let's see, this is three and three quarters by three and three quarters, although I don't think so because it doesn't look like a square. Hold on. Fact check, three and three quarters by, oh, I don't know what that is. It's like <laughs> three and I don't know, it's almost a 16th. Maybe it's supposed to be four. I'm guessing it's supposed to be four. Let's see what this one is. This one is three and three quarters, so that one probably was supposed to be four by three and a half. Okay. This one we used um, that embossing folder, and I don't have it handy with me, but that's from one of the celebration items. What is the name of it? I have to think. Oh, wait, I probably wrote it down. Hold on. Stand by. It is Softly Sophisticated Embossing Folder. Okay, and if you got the kit, I embossed that for you also. And then uh, the two squares, the largest squares, uh, Lost Lagoon, and then this paper. And I die cut this one for you also in your kit. Okay, let's stamp. Let's get our Happy Mother's Day out. If I pulled it out. Yes, I did. And that'll be a gorgeous grape. And then on the inside, we're doing You Mean the World to Me, also in Gorgeous Grape. All right. I love stamping circles because you can't mess it up, right? You can turn it any way you want. All right. Easy. Breezy. Now the rest is just assembly because we have all of our pieces. So let us do the inside. We're going to start by just setting this in. And then we'll put those other couple of layers on that are going to peek out from the bottom. Okay, let's get these glued. So anybody who got the kit, are you doing it along with us or are you just watching the video and going to do it later? The nice thing is if you do it later, you can um, just stop the video, which is what I do sometimes if I'm crafting along with uh, a video. Then I can just hit pause until I'm caught up. Okay, so we've got our layer like this. Hold on. Go on straight, please. Okay. 
Okay. See how pretty that is then as a little background? I like how that looks against there. Okay, next layers. This card doesn't have any ribbon, so that's fun. Because it was kind of busy. Don't you think it's a little bit busy? This is going to go like this. And it's, let's see. How do I want it? I guess like this. It's going to go like this, so we have a little bit at the bottom. All right. Let's put this on first. Whoa. Line it up. Now, the only thing I really popped up on here was this. If you wanted to add another layer popped up, we can pop this up too. So let's try that and see how it looks. It might add a little bit more. Just make your um, card a little bit thicker in the envelope. But I usually don't think that's too big of a problem. So we turned our square into diamonds. And I cut this on kind of an angle when I die cut it. All right, so let's pop that up. Oh, Lois, you still haven't gotten the dies because they keep selling out. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I know. I couldn't believe they went on back order again. So I'm, I'm glad I did the die cutting. Um, and since they're still on back order, if anybody orders the kit now, um, I'll die cut them again. Like I said, I have one ready to go, and I, I could possibly do two more. I have enough supplies for two more. All right, there we go. All right, let's start gluing some of these things on and I'm just gonna use the liquid glue. And just do some little dots of glue. Make sure that's all got kind of wrinkled. Gotta straighten that out. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use my old standby this right here. Let me get out. Uh, I haven't even seen that for a while. Here it is. My silicone mat. That way it's easy cleanup later. I could probably just do it on the glass mat too and just wipe it afterwards with a little, with the new, sh the chamois that it comes with or with a baby wipe. To me, this is just faster and easier to do it this way. Okay, so we're going to kind of have one coming off this way. And we're going to trim it in a minute because I know it's too long. And we'll just add some adhesive to this side. Okay, these Zig 2 wipe uh, glue pens are not from Stampin' Up! They are from Amazon. Okay, I'm going to do a little cutting off going to have our label. It's going to go right there. This little piece doesn't need to be there anymore. Okay. I am making a bit of a mess. Okay, let me finish poking the holes in these. You can see how from the die cut there's just a couple little pieces left that need to be pushed through. All right, so we've got that one. And this one. So let's do the same thing here. And then we'll trim those off also. So there's only uh, like two and a half weeks more of celebration, like two weeks and two days to get all the free products. Have you guys gotten everything that you wanted from celebration? Well, you know, they added more celebration products, so now there's more things to get. Let's pop this up.
and we'll put that a little bit off kind of to the side right there and let's add some gems all right i think we're making pretty good progress this is our third card that we're about to finish here whoa come back here and this one and another one right here okay oh that's nice hold on i feel like i need maybe a double dimensional over here this did not turn out it's kind of a little bit funky hold on let me see if i can totally not rip it apart which i feel like i'm doing that but okay i'm gonna put um a double dimensional over here let's see all right because this is so high because we it made a difference because this time i popped it up right whereas last time i didn't do that okay okay that's better okay card number three all set okay let's do um the sachet holder next so this is fun you can put this anywhere you like it smells good they um it it's in a i put it in a little um cello bag but you can take it out of the cello bag i just didn't want it to um like get into the other stuff like the tea and stuff like that so i put it in another little cello bag um but you can you can take that off if you'd like to or you can leave it on and, and if you give it to someone then they can take it off and that just fits right here so we're just going to make a little pocket for this okay and this is where i was going to tell you that we're also using for this one these um stamps right here and this little stem okay all right here's the pieces for this one okay so we are this card base here is um eight and a quarter by four and an eighth kind of weird measurements right and then it's scored at five and a half so you end up having this little flap that's going to flap up and we're going to end up gluing this but first we want to put some background on it okay so we're going to have this piece right here and this is pretty lavender it's five and a quarter by four i wonder if what i ate for dinner was salty because all of a sudden i am so so thirsty and maybe it's because i talked all day <laughs> i don't know i'm just super thirsty right now all right so let me get this kind of lined up right like this that's good. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of glue. Get out the liquid glue. Or you could use tear and tape or whatever you'd like to hold this in place. I'm gonna try a little bit of glue. And all you have to do, because this is folded, is just put some on both sides. All right. Just add a little bit of glue here. And we'll let that dry as we start doing the other parts of this okay so that's it I'm gonna get a big heavy block to put on here all right and we'll let that dry for a minute okay now these other pieces so this is gorgeous grape and what I started out with this I started out at four and a quarter by two and three quarters okay um, and so it's not necessarily very even. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, cut down the middle and that way I can get the scallops where I want them and even around um, the piece of DSP. So we're going to do that to this piece of DSP. And um, this is um, one and a half by four and a quarter. All right. So we're just going to take a little bit of seal and kind of line these up so they're even the way that we would like them to be. That way you don't have to cut it straight. And I know I didn't cut it straight, so that kind of fixes it and makes it nice and even for us. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we've got that now. We're going to stamp on here. 
This is um, gonna, we're gonna do thank you for your friendship and we're gonna do that in gorgeous grape. Uh, let me see, where is it? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on, please stand by. Maybe I didn't pull that one out either. Let's take a look. Nope, sure didn't. There it is. All right, so now I need to find something to put it on. I've got a block. I'm going to put this down so it's kind of straight. Okay. So let's stamp that. And it's a very skinny piece of Highland Heather. It's half inch and it's three and a half inches long. Okay. Got that. Let's get our, you could hand flag this if you want or put it uh, in your punch. I think this is the banners pick a punch and we'll just flag that one side. Okay, time out for a drink. Hold on, I need a drink. Okay. So this is just going to be popped up on this layer right here. So we'll get a few dimensionals. We'll do three. Have, uh, I don't know, if you guys got the kit, uh, maybe you saved the tea bag for, um, giving away, but I just wonder if anybody tasted the tea to see if it tastes any good or if you had it before. Just like that right in the middle, looks good. Now, um, we have this piece that we um, die cut out of La Sagoon, and then we're just gonna stamp on this piece. This is um, just a small piece of very vanilla that we're gonna stamp on. And let me just check and see, the size of that is four inches by two inches. Okay, and what we're gonna do is use fresh freesia, and I think it's gorgeous grape that I used. So there's two parts to the flower part, okay? There's two stamps, you have the fatter one and the thinner one. So we're gonna start with fresh freesia with this thicker one, and I'm gonna do it off to the side, just like that. And then I'm gonna try the Highland Heather for the mini part, cause I feel like the other one might be too dark if we use the gorgeous grape. So let's see how we like it in Highland Heather. All right, let me take off this one so I can see better. So we're gonna take the skinny one now in the Highland Heather and just go right over it to add our second layer. Okay, that's what I used before. So that is our pretty little flower. And then I'm just gonna take shaded spruce and do the stem. And I did that because that kind of coordinates. You can see the shaded spruce in the paper over here. So that's why I chose that color. You could also, if you think it's too dark, you could stamp off. Okay. So now we have those, and those need to be die cut. So these I did not die cut. You could also fussy cut for you because I can't stamp for you, right? So you have to stamp them yourself. Here are the dies that cut these out right here, okay? This one like this, this one like this, and you just send them through your die cutting machine. And I guess we can do that. I think I pre-cut them, but... As long as I've got everything out, let's just die cut it. All right, lining them up first. Taping it down. And then we'll just run it through really quick. Okay. 
we line them up. All right, much better. All right, that's it. That's our pieces. We put these aside. We're gonna glue this piece to here, and I think I'm actually gonna use a mini glue dot because I think that'd be easier. So let me just get one, pick one up here, and attach it right here to our stem, okay? And then we're just gonna glue these things down. Uh, so let's start with this. This is gonna go right across here. Let's see, I'm gonna line it up on this side because you can see it's just a little bit too long. So I can cut it off on that side. Does that look even? I think so. All right, let's cut it off. Wow, I was like a quarter inch off on that, right? But it's nice to have a little extra, always better too big than too small. All right, and then we're gonna glue our flowers down. So let's do the same thing with this one that we did before. Okay. I'm gonna put this one kind of behind and sticking up a little bit. Where's my tweezers? I need you. There, just like that. All right. And then this one, I think we can pop up. Let me get some minis out. I'm not gonna do up there because that's gonna kind of hang over and I don't want it to stick to anything. And then we'll just add a little bit of glue on the bottom one because these are too skinny for dimensionals i think right or did i take maybe i took a little strip let me take a little strip see if that'll fit cut that off i don't use these strips too often a lot of times i use them on shaker cards but otherwise i don't always remember that we have them and that they can be used let's see how that looks not bad I don't want it to show though, so let me just trim it just a little bit. I don't know. I'm on the fence on this part. Maybe I should have just glued it. And that's gonna kind of go over like right about here. Like that. Nothing sticking, so that's good. Let's trim off the bottom here. Good. All right, now we're just ready to get our little sachet together. Let me see where I put one. Did I have one? Here it is. All right, let's tie a little bow. All right, you guys, we're finishing this one up. We have one project left. After the projects, I also wanna show you the projects I have for next week, because um, I got a lot done this past weekend because I didn't have to cut because this was this kit had already been sent. So I had extra time to design cards. So I designed a bunch of cards this past weekend. So I wanna show you next week's class ahead of time. And we'll be using another celebration item. Let's use a glue dot for this. And we're just gonna put that up here. And then we'll just go ahead and tuck it in. And that's it, our just fun little sachet card. All right, that's it. Look how beat up this one got over the weeks. How many times I showed it. Kinda got beat up a little bit. But that is it, project number four. All right, we have one more project. We're gonna do this fun little box. And for this one, we're also adding, lastly, 
these dies right here, one of my favorites, Thoughtful Expressions dies, and we're using this big one and this, um, we're skipping one, and then we're using this one right here. So the biggest and the, uh, I guess you would say, well, second biggest, third biggest, third biggest. Okay, so we're gonna use that. Here's the pieces. All right, now the measurements on this. Let me get out. I didn't put it in my book yet, so I just have it on a little card with our measurements here for our box. There's a lot of pieces to this one. Okay, so we actually have two separate boxes. So this starts off, and this is scored in two different places. So it is nine and a quarter by five and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter and five. All right. So you have a three quarter inch thing here. So let me fold this and and that's it. How easy is that, right? I mean, really, that's it for the outside, okay? All right, so then the other layer for the inner box is um, this one right here. And the measurements for that are, let's see, six inches by four and three quarters. And then on the long side, it's scored at three quarters on both sides, so three quarters here, um, and then three and um, three quarters here. And then on the short side, it's scored at uh, two inches and two and three quarters. So you have three, so three quarters, three quarters, and you have three quarters going down the middle. So two inches and two and three quarters is where it's scored, okay? So pretty simple, nothing um, too fancy with this. I always have to sketch things out as I'm making them so I can get the measurements right and, and see how it's going to be. Now I'm just folding on the four um, scores that we did. And then we're going to do a little bit of cutting. I can move this out of the way now. Let me get out my scissors. Right here. And all we're going to do is um, just cut these right here. And if you want to, you can um, flag them a little bit so that you're just cutting the corners off of those. Same thing on this side. And we're going to use some glue to attach these. Actually, for the sake of the video, I might just use some seal because it's wide enough to do that. So the way this is going to fold, it's going to go this way first and then the outside like this. Okay. Now, why is this not lined up properly? Oh, it is. It's just a little goofy. All right. Let me check this side and see what's going on with this. It's just a little bit longer on this side. I must have cut it wrong. I probably didn't follow my own measurements. So I'm going to trim this side off just a little bit. Let's see if we can even that up a little bit. I don't know what happened. You know what? I don't know. Did I score it wrong? Is this a half inch instead of three quarters? I bet that's what happened. I bet that's what I did wrong. Okay. All right. Let's add some glue. Whoops. Let me just see. No, that's the way it, it was. So I cut that part right. I don't know. All right. So we'll do the back first. Hold it for a second until it starts to set up. And actually, if, if it's a little shorter in the front than the back, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't. All right. I should have remeasured it just to check and see. Because that is not the most square, beautiful box I've ever seen. <laughs> Check yours before you do it, you guys. Check my measurements to see if I messed it up when I sent them. Hopefully not. But I think it looks fine with the front being just a tiny bit lower. Hopefully our DSP is going to fit on the, in the front of it, right? 
Okay, so let's do the inside first. We wanna do the inside of the box. This is super easy. So for the inside, we've got five and a quarter by four of the Perennial Lavender DSP. And I chose just to go with a nice purple background. And we'll just put that right in the center, just like that. Okay, now we have a couple of pieces. We've got this piece right here, and we're just gonna glue this here because this is gonna hold our tea bag, okay? So let me just use some seal to make it nice and fast. And again, the measurements will be in the email, but let me see if I can find this one. Uh, Highland Heather, da, 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 da. and four inches by two and three quarters. So I want this kind of up a little bit, but I still want to save room so that the tea bag fits in there and sticks out a little bit. Okay, so that's going to go like this. And then this piece is going to go over now. All right, so I'm just going to add glue to this and glue it down right like that. Okay, that's it. And so this part is what holds this like this. Okay, so it kind of makes it like a box. All right, so to decorate that up, we've got this piece right here, which we're gonna put across here. All right, and it looks like maybe I did cut this off just a little bit, because there would have been a little bit more of a border. Not that I mind it like this, it still looks fine like that. But this piece, let's measure this to make sure that this one is right. This looks to be, like it's four by two and three quarters. Nope, four and a quarter by one and three quarters. Let me just check to make sure that's what I have over there. That is exactly what I have on the sheet. Okay. I wanna make sure my sheet's right before I send it to you guys, and it's right. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're gonna put a sentiment right here, but we're gonna need to stamp on it. So let's do our stamping. Time out for stamping. And this one's gonna say big hugs. And this one is gonna say sending love and wishes again. And they're both gonna be in gorgeous grape. Ah, thanks Renee. Ah, oh, thanks Lois. Thanks Nicole. Okay. Sending love and best wishes. Hold on, I know it's here somewhere because we've already used it, got it. Good, and then the next one is going to be big hugs, which I don't think I pulled that one, nope. Okay, easy stamping, right? We're gonna do this one down flat because it's on the inside of our box, just like that. Now at this point, we can go ahead and put our treats in. So we have our Biscoff cookie, so we can put that in down here. And then we're gonna put our tea bag in right here and it's gonna kind of stick up the top a little bit. So that looks good like that. Okay. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is do some ribbon. And I used this ribbon, I thought it was pretty with this. And it's a center stripe ribbon and it's got pecan pie and it's um, the ivory, or the very vanilla. I always wanna call it ivory, but it's very vanilla. So I wanna make sure we have a big enough piece to go around that we're able to tie a bow. And then it's gonna be secured on here by the paper that we're gonna put over it, but I'm just gonna run a little strip down the back to kind of secure it on the back. Make sure that's long enough. Just like that. All right, and then we've got it ready for the front right here. If you want, you can secure it a little bit with some seal on the front too, but we're gonna be putting our cardstock over it. Okay, so we have our piece of DSP that's gonna go right on the front like this. 
We're just layering up at this point. Okay, like that. Then we're gonna do this piece of gorgeous grape. This is four and a quarter by two, just right down the middle. Like that. Oops, my ribbon wasn't exactly in the middle. There we go. All fixed. Okay, we're gonna pop up a couple things here. So I did a lot of popping up on this part. Right in the center, and you know what? I wanna make sure, let's see here. This is gonna go at the top. I'm gonna move these a little bit because I'm gonna be putting um, the flowers behind, so I don't want them to get in the way. Okay, so let's start putting our flowers behind. Now, this first one, I added a little bit of glue to. And I think I cut it off a little bit, so let's trim it just a little bit. And we're just gonna add some dots of glue. I'll dry it up quick. Um, not necessarily all the way to the top. Just kind of like that. That looks good. And we're gonna start by putting this one behind here. And they can stick up. It's fine that they stick out a little bit because um, we want it to kind of look like that. Although I feel like this one is a little bit too much. Hold on. I'm gonna kind of put it a little bit like that. I don't want it that far out. I don't like that, hold on. Shouldn't have done that. This this has got to go. You know what I should have done? Hold on. Let me pull this up. Glued those down first. And then put the dimensionals on. Okay. We're going to redo that. We don't want this here. Okay. Hold on. Disaster in progress. All right. Let's try this again. Right like this. Glue it across here. One's gonna go the other way. And then we'll go ahead and put dimensionals on and set it up. Right like that, okay? Better stay. Come off because we don't need that much bulk. Okay, let's let that dry for just a second. I'm gonna get some dimensionals and redo it. Let's position our dimensionals first. So we're gonna have one about here. This one kind of this way. And this one so we have enough room. All right. I think we have fixed the disaster. Now we can just glue dot the rest behind. Okay, so we've got four stems, two in the gorgeous grape, and two in uh, fresh freesia. get these out. We're definitely going to cut these down because they're too long. So we're going to put a short one and a long one and a short one and a long one together. All right. And we're just going to use glue dots because that's going to be the easiest way for us to do it. So I'm just going to trim these off. Oop. And that one. All right. Let's get out glue dots. And we're gonna kind of put them towards the bottom. So let's, and this one still might be too long. 
I'm gonna cut it off some more. I'm making it look more complicated than it is, right? There's that one. And we'll put a glue dot on this one. Like that. See, that wasn't nearly as hard as I made it look. I feel like this one's a little too long still. Last one. We'll make this one come off over this way. All right. Phew. Finally. Sorry about that. Let's pop it up. Okie dokie. Right in the middle. There we go. Did it. All right, let's tie this and have our bow just to complete this part of it. We'll add some dots and that'll be it. Why do my fingers feel so big tonight? <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I have giant fumbly fingers tonight. Okay. All right, dots. Dots, dots, dots. Get our gems going. Love these pretty gems. You can just go crazy with them, right? I think we'll just do all dark ones because that's what I'm feeling like. All right, that's it. We did it. We did all the projects. What time is it? 8.13. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, for five projects, I think that's pretty good. All right, that is our last project, you guys. Um, so I don't have make and takes this week because this kit was sold ahead of time, right? So I'm not doing make and takes for this class, although I do have a class available if anybody wants to purchase it still. Um, but what I'm doing this week instead, since I don't have make and takes, is if you place an a, a order of $35 or more, I'll send you a free embellishment. If you order $75 or more, I'll send you an embellishment and a bolt of ribbon. Um, and that's just free if you place an order. Here's the host code for this week. It's YBZ. A-T-U-H-N. Uh, anything over 150, 150 or over, don't use the host code. I'll still send you the goodies, but you'll get host rewards as well, which is nice. And don't forget, you'll earn celebration items. So if you still have items that you would like to get from celebration, then uh, you'll want to, especially the new ones, right? You want to maybe place an order. So these are all the projects that we did tonight. I hope you liked all these projects. We've made a lot of things, right? Um, with a very pretty kit. All right, you guys, next week, if you join me next week, I'm going to use um, this paper right here. So our card kit's gonna be with this paper. This is the softly stippled paper, um, which is very beautiful. I love the colors. So we're gonna do cards. Next week, we're gonna do four cards. And hold on, uh, here we go, here's the other one. Okay, so we're gonna do this card right here, Best Birthday Wishes. Um, and we're doing a little bit of coloring with the softly stippled, stippled stamp set. Wow, that's a tongue twister. We're going to make this one. The papers in here are really pretty. So we're going to make this card. This looks a little familiar right here. I'll try not to mess this up next week. A little thank you card. We're going to do um, this one right here. This just for you card. And hold on, I've got posted because I did that for the photographs. 
And I did Happy Mother's Day with this one again, with the Mother's Day, right? So I thought that one was pretty. And um, these papers are just so pretty. And then we did, um, we're going to do a congratulations card next week. So that's going to be our cards for next week. Uh, you guys, thank you for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you. Um, have a great week. Have a very happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. And hopefully I'll see you guys next week. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.